Modernization projects can be really challenging for a variety of reasons. Of course, you have very limited space, you have limited time to cut things over, and that's why we came up with solutions like FlexConnect. It's part of a broader set of solutions that we call Delta V Connect. We realize, though, that the hardware is just part of the challenge. You have to actually run the plant. You want to transition the software over from a legacy system over to a modern Delta V system. And to help simplify that, we came up with a tool set that we call Revamp. Revamp's an advanced software solution and it helps manage the transition from legacy control systems over to Delta V. Rather than just converting the code, Revamp allows you to take full advantage of all the capabilities of a modern control system. To do this, we applied some of the latest technologies, including the cloud, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. But the easiest way to understand the power of Revamp is to show you some projects in progress. So here we have a project that's still in its planning stages. And what's important at this stage is basically to size the project. How big is it going to be? How much engineering effort is it going to take? And that sort of thing. All we've done here is taken the export from the legacy control system and dragged it, dropped it onto Revamp. And in a few minutes, we get this great insight into what the scope of this project is. Uh, the first thing that we're looking at is the I.O. counts. And we have a hardwired and soft uh, I.O. count by type. And we can take that and slice and dice it by controller. And that way we can decide, you know, are we doing one controller at a time, multiple controllers at a time, and how do those interact? But more interestingly, if we go to the control module configuration section, we can see the results of Revamp's AI engine comparing all of the legacy configuration to our library of past project experience. We've done thousands of modernization projects. In fact, we do more than one a day. And that library of experience gets to be reused on each of these projects that we execute. So if we look at the control module configuration section, the first thing we'll look at is that green bar. The green bar there shows what percentage of the control modules for this project can be automatically generated in Delta V. And in this case, it's almost 70% of the configuration, which is great. Now that configuration gets rebuilt using your modern standards so that you can do things like automated sequencing, startups, shutdowns, conditional alarming, state-based control, and all that kind of stuff that you want to do with a modern DCS. The blue bar here, that's 17% of the configuration. Those are patterns which match our library, but they don't yet have a map to transition that code over to Delta V. So for this project, we would actually build 22 new maps to move that data over to its proper place in the new control system. The orange bar, shows 89 control modules which could be generated once new patterns and schema maps are created. That's the result of our machine learning algorithm looking for reusable common code across these control systems. Uh, as these tools are built, that orange bar starts really big, but as our experience grows, we find fewer and fewer new patterns on these projects. And in fact, on this one, we found just five new patterns. The purple bar is things like calculations, interlocks, glue logic, and those sorts of things which would typically be built by hand. And these are great opportunities to improve how your control actually functions. So now that we know the scope, we actually want to take the data behind these green and blue bars and transition them over to Delta V. So next, in the engineering phase of the project, we actually want to take the data from behind that dashboard and use it to generate Delta V code. And to do that, we have another library of maps of how to transition from one control system over to Delta V. We've got dozens of these maps, we call them schema maps. And what they allow us to do is to have one central library where all of our knowledge is maintained. So we develop these maps once and we never have to engineer them again. Um, these would take things like scaling, uh, alarm limits, alarm hysteresis, all these sorts of things and map them into the, into the proper place in, in Delta V. Uh, another place where we would have these maps would be tuning parameters, by example. Uh, gain, integral action, derivative time, how those, how those transition between the systems, or they could even be more complex than that, like this one that we have pulled up is for structure. So depending on whether you use the equation A or B or C or D, um, we choose between the available selections in Delta V, you know, PID action on error or PI action on error, et cetera. These rules can get quite complex, um, but the good part is we've developed them once, they're reviewed, they're validated, 
And then all we have to do with revamp is just apply them to any given project. Um, so in this case, um, we just import that data straight out of revamp, apply these rules, we get all of that information from the legacy system in delta V terminology with delta V parameter values. And that's what we see here on the left. Now on the right is what's currently on my delta V system, which is of course blank at this time. So now from here, if we just hit export, we can actually push all of this data into delta V. And if we flip over to delta V Explorer, we can see all those PID loops get automatically generated in the delta V control system. So what's great about this is these modules were generated automatically using revamp, transitioning from a legacy control system to Delta V using an all digital workflow. What that means is that engineers didn't have to spend a lot of time figuring out how to transition these loops from one system to another, but maybe more importantly, they didn't have the opportunity to make any mistakes or fat finger any data or anything like that along the way. And what's better is if we open up one of these in Control Studio, these modules are implemented using modern control system standards. In this case, we used Emerson standards, but we could use a customer standard as well. This gives you all the hooks that you need to build up those more advanced control strategies like state-based alarming, automated startup and sh shutdown sequences, state-based control, etc. This more complex configuration kind of divides into two categories. You have complex regulatory control, which would have all the function blocks that are interconnected together. And then you have structured text-based code, which might have sequences and advanced calculations, which are sitting on top of that. Revamp creates a documentation package that we call a knowledge base that automatically generates logic drawings for all of that regulatory control. What we see here is a list of all the patterns, including those ones we matched and those ones we found inside of the configuration. And if we open up one of those logic drawings, our engineers can easily understand how all of this control strategy is implemented. This makes it really nice because we can easily review this with customers, understand how the logic functions and how we might improve it without having to go back and manually develop these types of drawings. The other thing that's great about this is we can implement these strategies earlier in the project than we could if we were manually building all of this stuff beforehand. So that takes weeks out of the schedule. It takes a lot of the schedule pressure out of the project and all of the downstream production impacts that that, that might cause. This is a pretty simple drawing, but they can get quite complex. And in fact, on this device controller here, if we click into it, you can actually see the Boolean logic that's happening inside of that. And this is all done in an ISA standard symbology that any engineer can understand. So you don't have to have the expertise on the legacy system to know how it might be implemented in a modern system. So that's the regulatory control portion. The structured text portion looks very different. This looks more like top-down Fortran style coding, uh, you know, from the 70s and 80s. And it takes a lot of expertise to be able to dig into this and understand what's happening there. Of course, we parse through this and understand how the structured text interrelates with the regulatory control so we can better plan our cutovers, but we wanted to take it a step further than that. Since revamps deployed securely within the Emerson cloud, we can take advantage of the latest technologies in trying to decode and understand this type of structured text. Here we've applied generative AI to actually dig through that code and generate a control narrative which is suitable for an engineer to review with a customer and forward implement into Delta V without having to understand how to read that code, dig through it, and produce some kind of narrative document. This is a huge head start as we execute these projects. So you can see how Revamp can really streamline the software transition from a legacy control system over to Delta V. We automatically analyze the configuration, we can help you scope it, we can automate significant portions of the project. And for those complex configuration tasks, we create a knowledge base that engineers can easily review and forward engineer into a Delta V system. If you'd like to see how Revamp could work on your system, feel free to reach out to us. We're always happy to do an analysis, review it with you, and help you plan your modernization journey moving forward. Mm -hmm.